Hello and welcome. This is a short video on how to determine if an open education resource has a CC license. In this short video, we will discuss the differences between a copyright, a CC license, and a public domain. We'll discuss whether copyright is automatic or if you have to register for it. How to identify if a particular item, so in this case an open education resource, has a CC license and a description of what fair use rights are. So let's begin. What is the difference between copyright, a Creative Commons license, and the public domain? In copyright, there is no registration necessary. When you produce a creative work, it's automatic. The U.S. Copyright Office defines a creative work as an original work of authorship which is fixed in a tangible form of expression. In other words, you have exclusive rights to reproduce, prepare derivatives of your work, distribute it, perform it, or display it publicly in any way you see fit. A Creative Commons license is a standardized way for content authors to allow others to freely use their work. And you will often see this little CC BY logo that's up here in the right-hand corner attached to works that have a CC license. There are several forms of the CC licenses available, and those will be discussed in a different video. Only the content to which you own the copyright to, so in other words, you are the creator of the original work or that is already under an existing CC license, can you apply a CC license to it. And if you want more information on Creative Commons licenses, you can go to their website at creativecommons.org. An item that falls under the public domain is identified as something in which its intellectual property rights have expired, been forfeited, or they don't apply. So an example under which an item's intellectual property rights have expired would be a case where the original author has passed away because the copyright doesn't stop there. The copyright is good for the life of the original author plus 70 years beyond that author's date of death. So, for example, works by Shakespeare are now in the public domain. Another example of something that could be in the public domain is if the author has relinquished the copyright to the item. So, for example, the Centers for Disease Control have an entire library of public health images that are out for use in the public domain, and they can be found at the website link URL listed here. Items in which a copyright doesn't apply are in the public domain. In this case, for example, cooking recipes, pseudonyms, or stage names are not copyrightable. And you can find more information about this from the U.S. Copyrights webpage. So, I know one thing that I know a lot of people ask is, if you're looking at a particular item, electronic item for OER, how do you determine if the material has a CC license, if it's copyrighted, or if it's in the public domain? Uh, it's an excellent question. So um, your listeners very likely know that uh, copyright is automatic, uh, or they may not know. Some people think you have to register for copyright. Uh, in fact, you don't. Uh, the moment you produce uh, a creative work that's in a fixed tangible expression, so it's written down or it's a video that's been taken, that's automatically protected by copyright. So the first answer is if you don't see information about the license status of the work, you just can't find anything, you have to assume that it's all rights reserved copyright and the only rights that you have as a U.S. citizen are fair use rights. And that's probably a conversation for another day. Uh, but we should all, as citizens, exercise our fair use rights, and that allows us to use copyrighted works under certain circumstances. And in education, uh, we're for, we have some further protection under the TEACH Act, which allows us to exercise those, those fair use rights for educational purposes. So in many cases, we can use copyrighted works without permission under fair use. But the, the point of your question is, how do you know? And the answer is, if you don't see anything, you have to assume it's all rights reserved copyright and you have limited rights. If you see a Creative Commons license on the work, you can safely assume that that work is under that particular Creative Commons license. 
and if you click on the little license, license icon, it will take you to a single page on the web that's on our website that says, hey, here's what this license is, these are the rights you have, and these are the requirements on you. So for example, all of our licenses require that users provide attribution or credit back to the author. And then uh, how do you know if something's in the public domain? Uh, again, we have something called a public domain mark specifically for works that are already in the public domain so that if somebody knows, I don't know, a, a thousand year old manuscript is in the public domain you can, and it's on the web, you could actually apply a public domain mark to it. And that way everybody knows it's in the public domain. That of course is an ongoing community project because there's uh, millions of works in the public domain, if not more, and, uh, and we're over time marking them. A uh, big group of folks that work on that are libraries, museums, galleries, archives, et cetera.